Welcome back, guys. It's me again, Adrian de Berardini's The Bare Naked Chef. And I'm kicking off my European tour here in the beautiful and majestic city of Madrid, Spain, where I'm going to introduce you to one of my favorite dishes that I found here called albondigas in salsa española, which is meatballs in Spanish sauce, and it's pretty easy to make. I'm going to show you the ingredients, and then we're going to get started. One pound of lean ground beef, breadcrumbs, one onion, finely chopped. Two slices of white bread with the crust cut off. Flour. Finely chopped garlic. Gorgeous Spanish saffron. Bay leaves. Finely chopped parsley. One egg. Butter. Tomate frito, which is tomato sauce that's been fried. Chicken stock. Really good white Spanish wine. Some milk. And that's it. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is put some oil in a pan and get that nice and hot, about medium high heat. This is gonna be used to fry the meatballs. Now let's combine our ingredients for our meatballs. So we're gonna take our ground beef. We're going to soak our bread in some milk. And what that's gonna do is going to keep our meatballs nice and moist, and nice and juicy. We're going to squeeze that milk out. And take our bread mixture. Next, we're going to put our chopped parsley, our garlic, some salt, and some pepper. It's a little messy. Incorporate all those ingredients together. It's like giving a massage. Now once that's all mixed together well, we can start rolling them out. We're gonna roll them kind of small. They're not big Italian meatballs. They're Spanish meatballs. They're bite size. Now, I discovered this dish in my new little favorite restaurant here in Madrid called Circo. A friend of mine took me there and he knows the owner and he brought me back in the kitchen. So I got to learn firsthand how these are actually done. Here we are in front of Circo, which is in Malasaña, one of Madrid's most trendy and hot neighborhoods. We're gonna go in and check out how they do albondigas. Come on in. So here we are in the kitchen at Circo and I'm here with Vivian. Hola. Gracias. Muchas gracias por invitarme. We're going to go through all, this, all the steps of how they do albondigas and salsa española here. So, Vivian, um, empieza, por favor. She made this look so easy. I'm gonna go back to my kitchen and try this out myself. Let's go. Just toss them in this bowl here. Get as many as we can. All right, let's start to fry. It's sounding pretty good. If you guys can smell this right now, I am telling you. We got a big so we can put these around. Perfect. Okay, nice and golden brown. You hear that sizzle? That means some good stuff happening over here. Now these aren't going to take too long to cook. They'll probably take about two to three minutes on each side. I'm going to pull some of these out, nice and brown, crispy on the outside. You know, as many ingredients as this dish has, it's really simple to cook and really quick. All right, that's our last meatball. 
We're gonna use some of this oil in our next pan. Now we can toss our chopped onions in there. We're gonna cook these onions down till they're nice and translucent, and then we're gonna add our flour to thicken it. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of flour. Now we're gonna add our chicken broth and our white wine. All these flavors are coming together, the onion, the white wine. It smells amazing in here. Now we're gonna add our tomato sauce, or tomate frito. A little bit of salt and pepper. A couple pinches of salt. Some ground black pepper. And let's stir that all together. All right, now we're gonna transfer our sauce into a deep container so we can puree it. Now with a handheld food mixer, we're gonna get this nice and smooth. All right, after about 20 to 30 seconds of mixing, this is ready. I'm gonna put it back into the pan through a sieve, get out any lumps. Now we're gonna add our meatballs to the sauce. We're gonna put this back on medium heat. We're gonna reduce the sauce a little bit more and so we can coat those meatballs. I'm gonna add one bay leaf and about two pats of butter. You wanna turn up the heat to about medium and cover for about four to five minutes. When we prepared some mashed potatoes earlier, which is gonna go amazingly with these meatballs and the sauce. And basically the mashed potatoes is pretty simple. It's about four or five Yukon Gold potatoes with some butter and milk mashed up, nice and fluffy. All right, this is ready to go. I'm gonna grab a plate. Remember, we eat with our eyes, so we want this presentation to look extra pretty. This is for about one person serving, so we're gonna get about four or five meatballs on the plate. This is gonna be amazing. That sauce. Finish off with some chopped parsley. And of course, finish it off with some gorgeous Spanish saffron, which wouldn't be in Spain without it. Beautiful. And there you have it. Albondigas and Salsa Española by Adrian. All right, here we go. Banana's good. You better try this one.